today I'm gonna to be trying to make perfect steak using the Good Cooking Steak Stone Deluxe Serving Set. Now usually people say you need a cast iron to get the perfect steak, but we're gonna see if we can get one using only this steak stone. Let's get started. This thing costs about $65 on Amazon. This version comes with this really cool serving plate and then these sauce cups as well. There is a version of this that you can get without the extra serving utensils, but this is Tasty's money, so let's go big. So I'm pulling the stone out here and this thing has got some nice weight on it. This is at least a good like five to seven pounds, if not a little bit heavier. So this thing is supposed to give you perfect steak right at your dinner table. It's kind of like a hibachi grill experience, which we can't really get right now. So let's heat this up and test it out. Mm. Na 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 na. We have our heated steak stone here. I'm gonna be super careful not to touch this thing because I can feel the heat radiating off of it. You're supposed to hit this with a little dab of olive oil do that now and for the steak I've got a really nice cut of meat right here I just seasoned it with salt and pepper didn't want to do too much I kind of want to let all the magic happen on the stone and with that said let's get this baby cooking I hope we get that really satisfying sizzle I'm really really looking forward to that all right moment of truth here we go I had to just let you guys enjoy the sizzle that I heard right there. Like, oh, that was super beautiful. That makes me, you can see it's smoking here. This, you really feel like you're at a hibachi experience, for real, seriously. We're really gonna go for like a medium rare today. So I'm gonna let this thing cook for about five minutes on each side, try not to touch it too much, and then we'll cut it open and see what's happening. So usually when you flip your steak for the first time in a cast iron, you get that really nice crust. Let's see what we get here. It's been about five minutes. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh, that looks beautiful. It says in the instructions that this thing will stay sizzling hot for about 20 to 30 minutes, but it'll still be cooking for 40 to 50 minutes after you take it out of the oven. So, um, you know, that show stopping like sizzling moments only good at the beginning, but you know, you don't have to reheat this thing every 20 minutes, which would feel like it kind of defeats the purpose, but uh, so far so good. So I'm feeling pretty hopeful about getting this thing cooked well all the way through. The top of this crust looks super great and I'm really impressed with what we got on this side. So let's see what happens on the other side. This is a pretty thick cut of meat. So like I said, I'm gonna leave it on a little bit longer than five minutes. We'll probably sit around seven to 10 minutes, but this thing is supposed to cook it really slow so you don't overcook it. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I know I shouldn't touch it so too much, but I really wanna see what's happening on this other side here. What do you say? Let's take a peek, yeah? I don't know, guys. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. Like I said, the science is not exact here. I've never cooked on a steak stone before. Um, but, you know, the steak is looking really good to me. I'm gonna uh, let it rest, and then while it's resting, let's see how these vegetables turn out. All right, let's put some asparagus on here. Nice sizzle. Boom. Ooh, lost one. <sighs> Wouldn't advise you do that with your fingers. Asparagus is on here. I'm really just looking for this to get like a little bit tender. We'll see how long it takes for it to get to the texture that we normally like. Still have a little bit of a bite to it, not, not super soft. I think it would take forever to get this thing to be super soft anyway. I'm even getting that little whistle too. So this thing's really cooking. Tongs are perfect for this thing. I can already tell the asparagus is getting nice and toasted. It's getting real limp here, which makes me know that like it's obviously cooking. So I'm gonna pull this off. We can put it right back in our plate here, no big deal. So our asparagus probably took a little less than five minutes. I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil there. A little bit of salt, that's a lot of salt. Don't worry about it. We're here for the steak, not the vegetables. Asparagus is done. I think it looks pretty good. It took less than five minutes to cook. I'm just gonna taste it quickly. Mm. Nice and crunchy. Mm. Perfect amount of salt, actually. What's the proper way to eat asparagus? It's so long. This tastes really delicious, but again, our focus is on the steak. So let's go see how that turned out. All right, moment of truth. I've let it rest. I'm gonna cut into it, see what we got here. 
All right, all right. We're in like a little bit of a medium rare to medium situation here. Totally fine. I don't think we overcooked it at all. I feel like hibachi style grilling isn't something that's gonna be coming back right away. So this might be a pretty good alternative to going out and still being able to get that same feeling at home. That is so, 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 so good. The steak sauce really takes that over the top. I think you got a nice gradual change between the pink and the center. Um, and overall, I'm pretty happy with this. So we just cooked steak on the Good Cooking Steak Stone Deluxe Serving Kit. I think overall the experience went really well. I'm not going to say that you're getting like a phenomenally different steak than you would if you use a cast iron, but it's a really cool experience to kind of have that hibachi grill situation right at your dinner table. And I think it would be a really, really great gift for someone at this time when we're all at home. So this thing cost $65 on Amazon. It does exactly what it said it would. It gave us pretty good steak. It gave us perfect vegetables and I'm going to give it two thumbs up for sure. Well, there you have it, folks. That's how you cook steak on the Good Cooking Steak Stone Deluxe Serving Set. If you have any other gadgets that you want Tasty to try first, drop it in the comments below and we'll make it happen. Until then, I'm Nishi, and I'll see you guys later. Oh, yes!